Measuring delta E of reaction in a bomb calorimeter. When 1.010 gram of sucrose, C12H22O11, undergoes combustion in the bomb calorimeter, the temperature rises from 24.92 degrees C to 28.33 degrees C. Find delta E of reaction for the combustion of sucrose in kilojoules per mole of sucrose. The heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter, determined in a separate experiment, is 4.90 kilojoules per degree C. You can ignore the heat capacity of the small sample of sucrose because it is negligible compared to the heat capacity of the calorimeter. We have 1.010 gram of sucrose. C12 H22 O11 which was at an initial temperature of 24.92 degrees C and rose to a final temperature of 28.33 degrees C. And we have a calorimeter heat capacity, C cal, that is equal to 4 point nine zero kilojoules per degree C. And we're asked to find the energy change delta E for this reaction. There are three steps to the conceptual plan. In the first step, we'll use the heat capacity and the temperature change to calculate the heat absorbed by the calorimeter using the relationship that Q of the calorimeter is equal to the heat capacity of the calorimeter C cal times the change in temperature delta T. Knowing the heat absorbed by the calorimeter, we can use that to determine the heat of reaction by the simple relationship that the heat of reaction must be equal and opposite to the heat of the calorimeter in order to obey the law of conservation of energy. Finally, we will determine the energy of reaction by dividing the heat of reaction by the number of moles of the sucrose for which we need the molar mass of sucrose. which is equal to 342.3 grams per mole. So in our solution we will first calculate the change in temperature which is the final temperature minus the initial temperature which is equal to 28.33 degrees C minus 24.92 degrees C, which is a temperature change of 3.41 degrees C. The heat that is absorbed by the calorimeter 
is again equal to the heat capacity of the calorimeter times the temperature change. That is 4.90 kilojoules per degree C times 3.41 degrees C. The degrees C cancel out and we arrive at the number of kilojoules of energy absorbed by the calorimeter, which is 16.7. Q for the reaction is equal and opposite to that. So it's a negative 16.7 kilojoules. This is an exothermic reaction, so that negative is the correct sign. Finally, delta E for this reaction is going to be the Q of reaction divided by the moles of sucrose we have the heat of reaction being minus 16.7 kilojoules and we have not moles but we have grams 1.010 gram of sucrose which we can convert to moles by using the molar mass. That is one mole of sucrose is 342.3 grams of sucrose. So the grams cancel, and this will give us our, our answer in kilojoules per mole of sucrose, which is negative 5.66 times 10 to the third kilojoules per mole of sucrose. Checking our answer, we see that the units of kilojoules per mole are correct for a change in energy and the sign being negative is consistent for a combustion reaction that releases energy.